Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome to a channel update video which will be, well, uh, mainly mediocre Overwatch gameplay in the background, uh, but uh, that's not important right now. What is important is the things I'm going to say. The stuff in the background is just to, well, I guess keep attention. You know, it, 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 what I'm getting at is it's a lot better than just looking at my stupid schedule screen that I have up in the Google Docs thing. Anyway... Um, so yeah, you may have noticed, or may not, depending on how much you watch my stuff, uh, that I've been gone a while. And by a while, I mean like three weeks or so, maybe a little bit more than that actually, uh, at this point. But anyway, I'm ready to come back, I took a little break, a much needed break at that, and, um, in coming back, I'm going to change a few things, and, well, I want to make this as brief as possible, so, uh, hopefully I don't ramble on too much, but... The schedule will mostly stay the same, for now. Um, and that is, on Sunday we have Ukulele, Monday Undertale, Tuesday Pokemon Sun, Wednesday Ukulele, Thursday, just a live stream, Friday Pokemon Sun, and Saturday Undertale. And that's what it's been for quite some time. Um, well, maybe not those exact games, but that's about the order I've been doing them in. Uh, but what I'm going to end up doing is probably shifting, and by probably I mean almost like 99% likely, shifting most of my focus away from YouTube and more towards Twitch. Now that's not to say that YouTube won't get any love, it'll get a little bit, but not nearly as much, because right now my focus is mainly on YouTube and I'm also streaming. Like I try to get it as half and half as possible, but it's just not really working, especially for someone who's not doing this full time so what I'm going to be doing is as series wind down on the YouTube channel I'm going to be well dedicating more time to Twitch so for example I think ukulele is the one that's closest to ending we're right around the end of that game uh, when that game ends I'm basically just going to not replace it with another series on YouTube and instead focus on wrapping up the series I have going. Um, I have no idea how close Undertale is to being done, because I've never played it before. Uh, Ukulele, I can only tell because we're about to fight the final boss, and I'm assuming that's the end of the game. Uh, Pokemon Sun I have played before, but I think we're probably, like, not even halfway through that game, crazy enough. Um, and if we are halfway, we're, like, probably barely more than halfway. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Pokemon Sun's a weird one, especially since, you know, progress can be slow in that game depending on how many people I decide to talk to that day, but uh, that's not the point either. Um, I'm going to start phasing out the games on the YouTube channel and mainly upload VODs, which sounds like I'm just turning my YouTube channel into a VOD dump. That's not the case at all. Um, I do plan on doing some things on YouTube, but I, I'm not going to stream to YouTube and... Certain VODs from my Twitch channel won't make it to YouTube because of the way they handle Nintendo stuff. Uh, for the most part, I'm able to, well, for the most part that I know of anyway, I'm able to stream Nintendo games on Twitch, which is a huge draw for me because I love Nintendo games. Uh, but if that stuff went on to YouTube, they would be not having any of it. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with my YouTube channel. Uh, just, I think that some series maybe well suited to uh youtube like probably um like this is just an example but like telltale games the walking dead you know that's a very good youtube series i think it's a lot better for youtube than it is for twitch but there's other games that are better for twitch like probably pokemon sun is better for twitch to be honest but i started the series on youtube i'll just finish it there so that way those of you who watch it there well not that you probably watch it anywhere else, uh, we'll still be able to find it there. And as the series wind down in my YouTube channel, I'm going to be getting more stream days set up, hopefully. Uh, currently, I stream on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays, which um, I'm liking so far, but I would like to stream a little bit more. And um, just, I'm, I've been enjoying the streaming more than I've been enjoying the YouTube stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love reading the comments and responding to the comments on my YouTube channel, and I am fortunate enough to have a mostly positive comment section. And by mostly positive, I mean, like, basically only positive. I could probably count the amount of vicious negative comments I've gotten on one hand, if if that even. Like, I can't even remember one right now, but I've just, it's, I just think it's probably happened. But anyway, 
I've been fortunate enough to have that on YouTube. But what I like about Twitch is there's a lot more viewer interaction, and that's kind of the reason I did this in the first place. Um, for YouTube, anyway, it was to kind of, like, share my gameplay and basically, well, you know, share my gameplay, talk about it, you know, discuss in the comments, I guess. But except this time for Twitch, you know, that happens live and can happen a lot more often. And, you know, I get a few comments here and there on YouTube videos, but, you know, nowhere near the amount compared to the amount of chat messages I get on Twitch. And I know it's not exactly the same thing because, you know, comments can be well thought out and be well, very large and point out bits and pieces of everything in a video. And, you know, I do enjoy those, but I'm just saying that those, you know, you can't compare that to like one chat message. But I still think overall the viewer interaction is stronger on Twitch, and I like that more, you know? It, it's just a way for us to connect, sort of, well, I don't know. I don't know where, where exactly I'm going with this, uh, but I am rambling again, so, um, I, that, you know, that's my cue to hurry up and make my point. Um, my point is I like the interaction on Twitch a lot more. Um, regardless of subs and bits and stuff, I, I, I like that I get to talk and play the game with you guys, basically. And, you know, that is sort of what I had YouTube in mind for. But before that, well, I didn't know about Twitch until like a month into my YouTube channel. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. I mean, come to think of it, that was... I started doing this in 2013. That's over four years ago. That's crazy. Um, but again, I, I will be doing some things on YouTube. I just won't put my focus on YouTube. So... Basically, expect to see the occasional VOD in maybe a series when I think of something that would uh, go good on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, for now, business as usual. And again, it's just a matter of uh, when these series, then my current series running, will finish up. And, uh, yeah, so that that's what YouTube's going to be like. And now to address the Twitch side of things, I'm going to be changing that a little bit as well. Um, basically, how I have it is... I've uh, picked one game and just streamed it the whole time. I'm thinking of changing that up and breaking that into two or three and streaming the, you know, over the course of my streaming time. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that instead because I think it would be a lot harder to get burned out that way. And I sort of, or sort of, yeah, that's, uh, that's words right there. I sort of started feeling burned out a little bit on the Breath of the Wild stuff. I mean, obviously it's a great game, I love it, but just playing only that for so long can only, uh, you know, lead to, uh, well, not only lead to burnout, but it's a lot more likely to lead to burnout as opposed to, like, I play that for an hour and, you know, play something else for another hour and, you know, because I plan on doing two or three hour streams. So, I think on a stream day, I'm not going to have a dedicated game that I play with the exception of Slime Sunday until that wraps up and... Wow, it's been over a month since the game's been fully released, and I still haven't played the full release version yet, so um, I'm really looking forward to that, to say the least. Um, but when that ends, I think I'll also just do a Sunday stream of more than one game, probably. I don't know. I still haven't worked that out, but um, the gist of things is I'm not going to do, like, hey, Thursday, I'll play Minecraft or Mario Kart or Splatoon. I'm going to be like... I'll play this for an hour, this for an hour, and this for an hour, you know, f just for example. Um, and I do have to think of things I'd want to play for an hour at a time. And I think that works best for games that are not very story-driven, like Splatoon and Mario Kart and Minecraft. You know, all the games I just mentioned. But for something like the Breath of the Wild, um, that would be a little bit harder. Because, you know, it is a story-driven game, and, you know... It's following me and, well, Link, I guess, on an adventure. And that's something not suited to, like, hour chunks over the course of a week. Just because of the nature of that game, it would be a very long-running game. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that on the channel yet. But, you know, people sometimes have cool ideas that I'd like to try. So maybe I'll do that. You know, I don't know. I'll outsource it. See if anyone else knows what to do with it. No, I'm just kidding. But... Uh, you, you get the point I'm trying to make. You know, such a big, large, story-driven game, not going to be the best thing played one hour at a time, because it'll feel like very little progress is being made. Um, but you know what? Maybe I can do um, 
Breath of the Wild streams here and there, and, you know, dedicate streams to it and not break it into hour chunks or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Just sharing my thoughts there. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we'll see. And that pretty much uh, sums it up. Other than I will probably be picking other days to live stream in addition to my Sunday, Thursday, Friday schedule as the series on my YouTube wind down and I have more time to dedicate to Twitch. Uh, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. So I really hope I didn't forget anything because I do want to wrap the video up here before I start rambling even more than I have been. Um, but, you know, hopefully this comes across as a positive change. I think it will. It's sort of a work in progress type thing, but I don't want to be away from YouTube and Twitch any longer. And I want to set this in motion. So, you know, I, I, I think I have to do it as sort of a transitional phase and I can't just like do a hard shift one way or the other. So it's going to be kind of a weird time. And, you know, again, I'm not neglecting the YouTube channel. That's still going to be in my priorities. I just want to shift to Twitch because it's a lot easier. It's a lot more fun and... I think it's a easier and better way to build sort of a community, I guess, if you would call whatever the community. I don't know. Um, and, you know, also YouTube has just kind of been going down the pooper. You know, you, you probably hear your favorite YouTubers and streamers and Twitterers talking about that. Um, I'm not too concerned about that because, again, I, I don't really make anything on YouTube anyway. So it's not like it really affects me. It's just annoying because I have had claims of uh, certain videos not being advertiser friendly. Uh, for example, um, one of them was my uh, Dwarves vs. Zombies episode 4. Um, you know, it's me playing Minecraft and I hardly swear at all. You know, and I try to keep that to a minimum on my channel just because I know that there, there is, you know, potentially younger viewers who like would maybe feel... I guess, embarrassed slash ashamed for watching sweary things in front of their parents. I know I used to feel that way as a little kid, but, um, you know, that that's basically why I do it. I don't care. I can swear if I want, especially on Twitch, because on YouTube, they try to arrest you if you do that. All right, maybe that's going a little bit too far, but you know what I mean? And again, I'm rambling again. So um, I'm going to wrap this up here. Hopefully the gameplay wasn't too bad. And Well, I mean, I know it was too bad, but <laughs> hopefully you weren't paying too much attention to that. Maybe you just put the video on in the background to listen to, which is probably the ideal way to uh, consume this particular piece of media. Uh, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and flash the schedule up on the screen right now uh, just to, you know, get a little bit of a refresher and... Other than that, I really can't think of much more to say. So I think I've made all my points. I hopefully have. Um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments and I will address them. Uh, but for now, I'll see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday, September 6th, 2017. Because, you know, dating the content. Have to do it in this case, though, because it's an update video. If someone saw this, like, a year later... I almost said a year ago, like that could happen. But if someone saw this a year later, they'd be like, what is this crazy man talking about? None of this is relevant. You know, but anyway, you get my point. I'm rambling again. All right. And uh, I guess to end the video, uh, here's a clip I made on the Overwatches, over memes, uh, to, uh, it was my, probably my proudest moment, which I had a big assist from, um, but anyway. What is it, a quintuple kill, something like that? It's it's a cool thing that happened to me, and it will never happen to me again because I'm not very good at the game, but I have fun anyway. Uh, here it is. Enjoy. See you later.